Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we play Chandelar. At least on Sunday morning, I do. And I'm going to take you into my Chandelar world again for the next 45 minutes or so. Let's take a look. I believe we were pretty close exactly to the green castle that's over here. So I want to get ready to go and pillage this green castle. But first, I feel like I need some powerful spells like, you know, Death Grip. Uh, Acid Rain destroys all forests, a really good card from Legends. Um, life Tap, an enchantment that gives you a life when your opponent taps a forest. So, those kind of cards, you know. Let's have a look at our deck again. So, it's blue and it's black. Looking pretty solid, to be honest. Um, I Oh, I, I gave some thought about this card, Contract from Below. I just think it's insane. I think it's so good. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take one out. I'm going to treat it as a power card, you know, as a card of the power 9, so this is power 10. It's actually the best card in Magic when you're playing for Anti, so I'm just going to play with the one off. I think that's more fun. Uh, but then I have space, of course, in the deck. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh yeah, I got the weakness earlier. Okay, so put the weakness in. That's a good card. Buy cards. Nope. Don't need that. Begin a quest. Defeat the Paladin, reward black cards. Okay, ideal. So defeat the Paladin, then I can get the Death Grip. Where is the Paladin? No, not the Ape Lord. <sighs> so annoying, but I'm, I'm running out of gold. I only have 100 gold, so. Okay, I'll duel you, Ape Lord. Remember, we're looking for a Paladin, right? So annoying. Mm -hmm. What do I have in hand? Counterspell, Swamp, a Drudge, an Island, Gem, Detone, Water, Elemental, and Unsummon. Okay, so I'm going to go for Island because then I have access to Unsummon. Unsummon is quite good in, in, in Chandelar because, um, you know, they're playing with so many enchant creatures. Okay, a lot of elves. Cool. Got a swamp, gonna play the drudge. So I could have unsummoned the elves here, make a tempo play, but I'm just gonna wait for a better moment. Maybe he plays with cards like Aspect of Wolves or something. Okay, there's a killer bee. Hmm, this is interesting. I could now go for Unstable Mutation on the drudge, um, be very aggressive. What I could also do is keep Unsummon open and then maybe the Ape Lord is going to attack, put all his green mana in the Killer Bees and then I Unsummon. I, th I think I'm going to go for that line. So I'm just going to attack here for one. Oh, he's going to block. That is sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah, Killer Bees dead. That's better than expected. Everybody used to love the Killer Bees back in the day. Mm. Okay, Mana Vault. So again, this is quite nice. If he taps out to cast like a big creature with the Mana Vault, I can just unsummon it and then he's stuck with the Mana Vault. It's gonna deal one damage during the upkeep. So that's kind of nice. Okay, another island. Let's attack here. I think I'm gonna keep Counter Magic open because next turn he's got a lot of mana, so. Does he play Force of Nature? That would be brutal. Okay, another Killer Bees, interesting. So I'm gonna counter the Killer Bees. Okay, loses some life. Underground C. Gonna play, you know, first gonna attack because then I can still regenerate. So I'm first gonna attack. And now I'm going to play my Water Elemental. Now it's going, now we're going places. He's taking damage from the Vault. I can attack with the Water Elemental. Probably put a uh, Unstable on the Drudge next turn. Let's go full swing. Maybe I want to wait with the Unstable until he's kind of running out of Chum Blocker. So I'm just going to attack for now. See what he does. I'm not going to block, I'm going to cast a Tome. Mm. 
I mean, it does mean I can no longer counter. I do love this art of counterspell, by the way. This is the Ice Age art. I mean, the, the OG from Mark Pool is still, you know, epic and the best in my opinion, but I do like this counterspell as well. Ice Age had some pretty cool art. Oh no, disintegrate. I wish, okay, what I could do now though is I can play Unsummon and save it. I'm gonna do that. Now I've got a little bit of an issue because if I play my water elemental again, I don't have counter magic open. Hmm. You know what, whatever, I'm just gonna do it. And I'm gonna play unstable on my drudge because he is tapped out it seems, so I can just attack. Mm. Ape Lord on one. This is good, it's a good start of the morning. Yeah, sure, go kill, whatever. You're tapped out, right, so. Attack, Drudge Skeleton, attack. Hey, Savannah, a desert. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna take the cards because I need to sell quite a lot, I think. Running low. Uh, oh yeah, defeat the Paladin. No, that's not the Paladin. Go, go, go. Oh. Mistress, I wanna, I wanna win the factory, that's cool. This is so annoying. I just want to defeat the Paladin, get the Death Grip, maybe get some nice blue cards. Okay, so let's check my hand. So I've got a contract from below, two islands, a protocol sorcerer, a Modi, Papa Modi, and a Gemday Tome. So a pretty slow hand. It would be nice if I can draw into a swamp later in the game for that uh, contract from below. Go for the Tim here, turn number three. And start pinging. Let's do what I always do, let's start pinging. Um, okay, we'll play the Tome, a Drudge Skeleton. Think art from Mirage? No, maybe. It's hard. I kind of stopped buying cards, new magic cards after Stronghold. So it's always difficult for me to recognize all the art. I was really into Revised at the time. Let's kill the Druid on the spot. Ooh, he's got the Oasis, sweet. That's pretty cool. He's gonna do it again though. Okay, look at this. So I can choose or play a Drudge or use the Tome. I think I'm gonna play the Drudge because I've got that contract from below in hand. So I'm just gonna Slowly empty my hand. You know, next turn I could play the Mamoti, I think, go to six mana, then I only have two cards in hand after the draw. Which is good. Island Mamoti. Okay, so I should have maybe attacked first. No, he's got the bear. No, that's fine. Okay, fast turn. Ooh, he's not doing anything. Okay, I'm gonna ping him and step, of course. Or her, I guess. She's gonna go to seven. This is pretty sweet. Uh, Control magic. Um, you know what, let's just play it because I've got the contract anyway, so. This is one of those win more cards. Uh, I mean, win more games. When you're already winning and then you're finding all the cards you need. Um. Attack with the Modi. Oh, wait a minute, I can win it already. Um, but then I should have unsummoned first. I cannot go back because I want to unsummon the wall of wood. Exactly, unsummon the wall of wood. Then she's on one and then ping. There we go. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna take the cards because I want the factory. 
it's so annoying you cannot see what the druid says. It's kind of... Hey, the paladin. Yes. Next duel, plus two lives and... Okay, two lives. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna change the ante, right? That's what I said. I wouldn't... Okay, I really need not lose this. I need to win this. Not lose this. What's that? Is that proper English? Not lose this. Oh, the Timmy. I don't want to lose the Tim. Oh, look at the hand. It's not good. Should I contract from below? I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to Dark Ritual for black. And then I'm going to contract from below. Spirit Shackles added to the ante. Oh, now I'm going to take Mana Burn because I cannot play this out. I've got Sephir Falcon, Island Island, Unholy Strength, Merc Dwellers, Pestilence, and the very funny Whimsy, which has been quite bad for me, the Whimsy, but it's still, yeah. You can only play that in Shambla, so I should play it. Anyway, I'm on 13 now. Hmm... Is it, maybe let me know in the comments if you play Chandler often. Is it better to play Whimsy when you don't have any creatures on the board? Is that like safer? I'm not sure. Like last time when I played Whimsy, uh, my opponent got a lot of help. Anyway, playing a Sephir so I can start attacking, put the Unholy Strength on there next turn. Ooh, I could do Dark Ritual Whimsy. You know what? I'm first gonna attack with the Sephir. It's really nice to play with all the enchant creatures, by the way. I don't know this art of unholy strength. I've never seen it. Okay, let's go this. Wait a minute. I can if I cast Dark Ritual, I have enough mana for. A Mahamoti, right? I'm first gonna attack. First things first. Then I'm gonna go for Modi. This, this is really good. This is why Dark Ritual is such a good card. I don't think he's got Swords to Plowshares. I think. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Oh. This actually happens to me in real life tournaments as well. Where I go, ah, you probably don't have that card. You only have two cards in hand, whatever. Oh, and they always have it. They always have it. Anyway, it's still looking good for me though. The Paladin's on seven. Remember, if I beat the Paladin, uh, I can choose any black card that I want. I could go, by the way, for Underworld Dreams. Ooh, this is really good. It's coming too late though, I think. Mm. Shall I play the Whimsy for two? Maybe, maybe it'll kill the Paladin. I'm gonna play the Whimsy. Why not? Do it. The Hive effect. Aladdin's ring. No! It's gonna kill my own falcon! I do like the, the audio effect. So you hear the laughing and stuff? That's quite funny. But this is really bad. I was winning the game and thanks to Whimsy now I'm, I'm starting to lose the game. It's really hard to love this Whimsy card. Oh man, because I need to win this. Oh no, a 6-6. Six, six. You know what, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna block because I can attack next turn. I wanna attack with this. I'm gonna, exactly. Um. What is wisdom? I'm gonna play the tome. Should I play the tome? I should play pestilence, right? Because I can then win it on 
Pestilence, if I draw, oh man, this is, a, this is risky. What I could do is I could play Pestilence. <sighs> this is hard. I can play Pestilence and take a damage, go to six, and I gotta chump block the, the Paladin. Oh, this is tough. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play the Tome. Because I don't want to take the damage. Let's see what I'm going to do this turn. I have this feeling that he's going to beat me this turn. I mean, everything went sour with that Swords of Plowshares. Okay, there's the attack. Should I block? Should I block? I'm going to block. I'm going to block. And I'm just going to hope that he's not going to play out anything. Of course! Man, that is frustrating. Um, Angry Mob gets a bonus and it has Trample. Gets a bonus for each black card that I play. You know what? I'm gonna play Scavenger Ghoul. I have a strategy here. Ghoul, the Ghoul is a 2-2. Uh, whenever a creature dies, it gets a counter and I can then remove the counter for regeneration purposes. So if I attack and he's gonna trade, Exactly, then there should be two counters on the scavenging ghoul. Uh, is it at the end of turn? Yeah, at the end of turn. Look, two counters. So the paladin could destroy my ghoul, I can regenerate it, or he can attack and I can block and regenerate the ghoul. So either way, I should be kind of able to keep the ghoul around. Oh no, this is really bad. Oh no. Karma, I've got one swamp though, so it's not too bad, but still. Oh yeah, I gotta activate the karma, whatever. I'm on six. Hey, control magic. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Give me that creature. Sweet. Attack. Oh, this is really nice. If I can draw another city of brass. Oh, okay, protection of black, whatever. I wanted to say if it can draw another uh, City of Brass, I can make two white to activate the Paladin, but the Paladin only destroys black creatures though, so that's not gonna do much. I think I can win it here with a Drain Life, but I think it's more fun to go for creature damage. He can survive, he can chump the... Oh no, he doesn't have any mana for COP Black, okay. Gonna win with the ghoul! Wow, look at all those cards! Spellblast, Mishra's Factory, Holy Days. Oh, this card is funny, Holy Day. Seth, uh, Urza. Gonna take the cards. Yeah, Ivory Cup next duel. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go in here. Trade black amulets for green cards. I don't need any green cards. Drain life, yes please. Do I need a swamp? Rod of Ruin. Rod of Ruin is one of those cards where you think, okay, that's really bad, but in Chandelar, it's quite good. Let's have a look. Um, I wanna play that Drain Life. What could I take out? Dark Rituals. The Whimsy, shall I take out? I'm gonna take out the Whimsy. I'm done with the Whimsy. The Whimsy almost cost me the game. Almost lost to Timmy because of the Whimsy. I mean, that's just taking it too far. That's taking it too far. Um, got another Dark Ritual I could play. Dark Ritual's good, it's a good card. But I wanna stick to 60. Oh, and I had that land, of course. Um, I've got three factories already. Let's put two in and put some basics out. I mean, I'm playing with 18, 20, 21, 23 lands. That's good. Mm -hmm. I can take out Merfolk of the Pearl Trident and put in a factory instead. 
Like when you add factories, you cannot count them as full mana because they're also creatures that makes them vulnerable and they only make, of course, the colorless mana. So I count them kind of as half lands. Oh yeah, so do I need a swamp? I don't. Um, oh, I got no money. I got no money. I need to sell some stuff. Let's see what I can sell. White cards. Let's sell white cards. Here we see that art with Urza. The day of spirits. My soul's calm retreat, which none disturb. Henry Vaughn. Nice. Morale. It's going to sell. Green cards. Are we making a green deck? Maybe. Red cards. I'm going to sell red. Okay, let's focus on in three colors. Let's focus on green as well. Why not? Um, mm -hmm. So I've got some money. I'm going to go back to the spire, right? To collect my cards. Um, I'm going to pay 40. I don't want to duel right now. Go, 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 go. Yes. Abomination is cool against green. Okay, Death Grip, which is this business card, counter stuff away, or Abomination. Abomination, of course, no brainer. Yes, please, Abomination. That is such a cool card. Let's add it to the deck. I like the music. I'm getting into the vibe here. Um, But now I need to ditch a card. It's so hard. How do you decide what to ditch? I'm gonna ditch Curse Land. I'm gonna do it. Speak to the wise man. The people applaud your brave struggle. Ooh, he's telling me something about the dungeon. Are you not tomb? That's cool. Um, I'm gonna try to collect some more stuff before I go into the green castle. Raise dead. I think raise dead's good. Begin a quest. Take this message east. The keeper of Perrin will reward you with the black amulet. East, where is that? Um, what did he say again? The keeper of Pyranian Steading. That's pretty, that's pretty far away, man. I'm not going to do that. That's too far away. I want to stick close to the... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's go. Let's check out. What can we earn? You may trade your Gauntlet of Might for five extra life. No way, Jose. No, this is so... When you're close to a castle, you get these trusted servants that you have to battle. Uh, and as you can see, there's no anti on her side of the board. It's really not cool. What does she have? Some venom? Summoner did not take a mulligan. Okay, whatever. Oh, she's starting with the Vajern Enchantress in play. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Bye-bye, Enchantress. Whatever. And now, hopefully, she's going to have to discard. So, no turn one, then she has to discard. Of course, a turn one. Whatever. Uh, underground see let's check my hand by the way I've got two drudges contract from below and my brand new abomination can't wait to cast the abomination that's gonna be cool abomination yeah so I, when I was a kid a little Timmy I thought abomination was so scary I think it got reprinted in was it fourth edition Let's see, City of Brass, because then we can play out a Drudge and we can keep Regeneration Mana open. You know what? I'm just going to attack. Just going to see what she's going to do. Okay, she is going to block. Okay. Sometimes they do these weird things where they don't block or do something strange. Circle of Protection Green. Okay, whatever. She is drawing a card, though. Okay, this is good. Um, first going to attack. Then I'm going to play the Tim, and next turn I can then kill the um, the Birds of Paradise. Oh, this is so annoying. Did you see what happened? 
If you double click, the computer decides what mana they're going to use, right? I know that by now, but I just assumed it wouldn't use the, uh, the City of Brass, but it did, so it took a damage. Another COP green, okay. The deck's full of Circle of Protection greens. Another bird. You know what? I'm just going to kill the bird right now. Before I forget. Okay, so we're going to play the Tim. I'm going to select the mana because I don't want to take a damage. I guess I should have attacked first. So if she now has a giant growth, okay, she doesn't, that's good. Oh, it's still at City of Brass open for re regeneration mana. So I was, I was still safe. I was still safe. But this is such a waste of time because if I win, I don't get anything in return. Oh, force of nature. Oh no, oh no. I need my abomination now. I really do. Um, I'm going to kill the Fajurn. Okay, this is a problem. I feel like I need to cast Contract from below because I'm just going to die to this force of nature. But the abomination is so good because it can destroy the force of nature. Problem though is I don't have the mana don't have the mana. Um, I gotta play Contract from below, I feel. Do I have something in my deck to deal with the force except for the Abomination? I don't think I do. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I'm gonna take eight, gonna drop to five next turn. That's horrible. Um, I'm going to attack, which may seem strange, but I'm not going to block with the drudges anyway, so... Now the COP greens make sense. Which is a nice combo, by the way. You can just take the damage from the force, prevent them with your circle of protection greens. Oh man. I was doing really well before this force of nature came along. Um, okay, there's a swamp. Now I can play Abomination. The problem though is I'm already on four now, but I think, let's kill the bird. Let's see, I got to play towards my outs. I'm just going to attack here with the drudges. I'm going to block on the abomination and drop to two. Hopefully that's enough to still win the game. Ooh, he's not attacking because of the abomination. That is funny. That is perfect. Play the scavenging ghoul. And you know what? I'm going to attack again. Why not? I can regenerate the drudge anyway. Exactly. So I'm going to regenerate. Fast effects? Yes, please. It's, wow, I didn't expect this to happen. I thought he would just go full force. I would lose the Abomination, but I mean, he's scared of the Abomination, which is very flavorful though. I mean, look, look at the Abomination. I would be scared. There's the island. If I attack with all four creatures, you can only block one, it would drop to four. No, that's not enough. That is not enough. I'm going to play Contract. It is risky because I got to put another yeah, Wall of Air to my ante, but Drain Life. Okay, that's good. I'm feeling confident. Ooh, oh, now if he's got his swords on the Abomination, don't swords the Abomination. Don't do it. 
Okay, Sorry. that's good. Yes, I'm going to ping you. Drop to five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't, you know what? I'm just going to drain first and kind of find out what's up. Okay, let's pay for the mana. I think I can drain, I can drain for four. Yeah, and then I can kill, kill him with the Tim, of course. Triggered effects, damage dealing, nope. Then the Tim and win the game. Hey, that's good. No, 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 no. I don't want to duel all these bozos. I probably shouldn't have been so close to the castle. That was my mistake. That's my mistake. Trade green amulets for any enchantments. Wait a minute. Um, Underworld Dreams? Don't see Underworld Dreams, that's unfortunate. I could get the Death Grip now. Sure, let's get the Death Grip. Begin a quest, defeat the Enchantress, I will you any enchantment. Sure. The music is working overtime in today's episode. <laughs> Listen to it. Do, 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 do. Oh, that is so funny. Let me put it down a little bit. Um, okay. Death grip? Why not? Again, what to take out? Oh, I'm running out of options here. I guess Elijah. It's a good card, but I'm not really, you know, I don't have pump effects or so many pump effects. Like I like Elijah in a deck like with with um, Bat Moons or a way to make him unblockable. Oh, Leviathan! I still want to play that card. Your time will come, Leviathan. Your time will come. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a deck with mana bolts and stuff. Your time will come. Maybe Twiddles to untap you. Um. Anyway. What else do I need to do here? Guess not much. Maybe buy some cards. Escape zombies. Play Gretz. No, thank you. Speak to the wise man. Okay, wait a minute. So as you defeat the roaming minions, each guild lord is weakened slightly. There is a lower limit to their power. Okay, that's good information. I didn't know that. Yeah, let's pay the gold. Okay, so I need to find the enchantress, right? No, no, no. Oh, go away, you dragon snakes. Oh, there's the enchantress. Duel. Another thicket. I already have two thicket basilisks. That's pretty sweet. Oh, yeah, let's check out my hand. So we've got an island, underground sea island, Mishra's factory, a Modi, wall of air, spirit shackles. Okay. You know what? I'm going to start with the factory and then maybe start attacking next turn. Mishra's factory is so good, and nobody played with it back. Well, nobody, but let me let me say it like this: at my game store back in '95, nobody played with it. They probably just didn't understand the card because it's it's pretty complex. It's just, it's so good. You know what? I'm not going to play Wall of Air. I'm going to just go and attack instead. Some people say the factory is too good and maybe you should restrict it because it's in so many old school decks. I think I understand where that's coming from, but what you have to remember though is once you animate it, it's an artifact, a creature, and a land, and there are so many ways to destroy it. Like for example, I'm not playing green. If I play in old school and somebody has green mana open, I'm not going to activate my factory because it's gonna it's gonna take a crumble. 
Mm, gonna play the ghost ship. And what's also interesting with the factory, by the way, and I can, it, it's not an auto include. A lot of people just auto include in the deck, but I mean, it does weaken your mana base. Um, so you really gotta think about it. Sometimes it's better to play three or two or none at all. Mm, I could play unstable. You know what? I'm gonna do that because she's already weakened so much. I'm gonna go for change to assembly worker. And I'm gonna swing in. So this is already seven damage. There we go. I mean, it's going well, right? Oh, tapping out for Coral Helm. Good move. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so funny. I do like to see cards like Coral Helm in action. It's really cool. Again, a card like you never see in, uh, in regular old school. Okay, let's animate, and I think that's a done deal then, right? Yeah, she stepped out as well. Okay, so that's good, that went very fast. You know what, I'm gonna take the cards, take the cards. Buy some cards, Dark Ritual, Swamp, Ebony Horse. Don't really need those, speak to the man. The people of Applaud my bravery. Ooh, so I'm getting a dungeon clue. Mount of the Warrior Kings. Wow, look at that. Brain Geyser, Mind Twist, Time Walk. Mind Twist, yuck. Contains small red creatures. Okay. Mm. Oh, I'm running out of money. Look at that. I've got no money, no gold. I've got nothing. I'm like the poorest wizard of, uh, of Chandelar. Give me some money, please. I don't want to sell. I don't want to sell any green cards. My whole idea is I'm going to play with green. Um, oh man, wall of spears. I'm going to sell my wall of spears. Who can say that in their lives? I've sold the wall of spears to get some food. Actually, I don't need food at the moment. Okay, so I got to go back to Nevermore Hole. Um, sure. I'm going to play the sorceress. What? Who's this dude? Who's this dude? The sorcerer. Okay, summon the sorcerer. Whatever. I'm gonna kick your ass. What do I have? Swamp, island. What? Never mind. New hand, winds of change. Winds of change is really good with decks like Underworld Dreams or Chains, Chains of Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles? Whatever. But that card from Legends. Um, island. This is bad. This new hand's really bad because it's got no mana. Oh, this is bad. Only one island. Let's check out the rest of the hand. We got water elemental, pestilence, dark ritual. Oh, I just had a black mana though. Uh, unstable, contract from below. I really need a black mana. Timmy, a counter spell, and a drudge. Okay. I've got a discard. I think I'm going to discard the pestilence. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna discard, I'm gonna discard the Modi. Which really hurts, but I mean, I'm so far away from it yet. Look at the mana of my opponent. Four mana, mana barbs, no. Mana barbs is tap a land, right? Take a damage, yeah. Whenever any player taps a land for mana. Maybe he's gonna kill himself, who knows. Oh, discard a drain life. Okay, there's an island. Still cannot do anything, but at least I've got counter magic now up. So if he taps out to take a lot of damage to play, maybe like a Sheevan. Oh, winds of change. Okay, no worries. It is a cool card, winds of change. It's really nice. I think I have one somewhere in the binder. Ah, uh, Hurl Jekyll. You can also use Winds of Change in like these 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 uh, mono red burn decks if you're kind of looking for that last bolt. 
Okay, so I've got a swamp. Um, what do I have? I can play a drudge. I gotta play the Tim. I'm thinking now about maybe going for Dark Ritual. Hmm. No, I'm gonna go just I'm just gonna go to play the Tim. Now I'm taking three damage because of the mana box, right? Rem remember that, so that's a problem. Hopefully next turn I can start pinging away some of these small creatures. Hurl Jackal, card from Arabian Nights. Target creature cannot regenerate, oh yeah. Let's see, what can I do? Mm. I can play everything, which is good. Question is, what do I want to play? I think I'm going to play out a Drudge. Am I though? Hmm. You know, I'm going to go Dark Ritual. I'm going to play one Drudge. And then I could put an unholy strength on a drudge you know what i'm going to do that and then main face i think i'm just going to kill the hurl jackal pass the turn dark ritual is really good against mana barbs i now realize it's a really nice way to play around it hmm I'm gonna attack with the Drudge. Let's go, let's be aggressive. Not blocking, that's ideal. And I can play the other one. Just gonna kill some more of my own main face. Probably should, probably should do it during the combat step or main, main phase of my opponent, but or end step, whatever, but I just want to do it now. Um, unstable mutation, okay, that's sweet. What, why did I lose mana burn? Oh no, it didn't cast the unstable? Oh, this is so annoying. I could have won already if, I, if it would have played the unstable. Or of course, unsummon on the um, on the tin can, the brass man. Okay, but now I'm winning anyway. That's also good. What do I win? Mana barbs, the brute, and Earth says mine. You know what? Take the dungeon with me. South of Hornbull Tower. Ooh, I get a duplicate card. That is sweet. What do I want though? Um, another Moti maybe? A duplicate card, this is tough. This is tough. Another Tim. Tim's a common though. I'm gonna find some more Tims probably. Air, the Merfolk, Savannas. Raise dead. Control magic is really good. Moti. You know what? I'm gonna go for my Moti because my Moti is cool. Yes. People are glad and reward me with any enchantment. Oh yeah. I probably should start getting control magics, right? I already have two, but I mean. Control magic's really good. Um, I mean, what is there in black to get? Hmm. Greed is good to draw cards. That is a cool one. You know what? I'm gonna get a greed. I think that's cool. I'm gonna take out the gem they don't put in the greed. 
that could work. I think I'm going to take out the Pestilence as well. The thing with the Pestilence is my deck's not really made uh, for the Pestilence. I wonder what these tiles mean. This is like an instant, right? Yeah, instant cards, interrupt cards. Oh, then you can select what you want to see. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now it's only going to show me the creatures in each color. Okay, that's fine. And the multi. Okay, now we're back on 60. We're back on 60. There's still two. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game here. Because I think I've been playing for 45 minutes already. Maybe even longer. So anyway, this, uh, this is uh, episode number five. Join me again next week because then I will go into the green castle because I'm, I'm feeling good. I think my deck's ready for it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks. Please, um, if you enjoyed this, uh, this episode, leave a like, a comment or share it on your socials. All this really helps. So uh, yeah, it would be great if you could do that. And um, yeah, see you guys next week. Yeah, this was good. This was a good run. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?